What's up, everybody? Go Burns, climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. But before we get started, I have to announce a consolation prize for one of the uh, six winners in yesterday's 1 million lifetime views contest. And Kevin from Canada, aka Kevin Boston7 on YouTube, one of my subscribers, who is also an aspiring content creator, won the PlayStation Store gift card valued at $25 US. But Canada is not accepting U.S. gift cards for whatever rhyme or reason. Hey, Canada, I thought we were friends. I warned you, Kevin. I warned you that that gift card might not work, but he wanted to try it anyways, and alas, it did not. So I'll use the code for something else. But anyways, as your consolation prize, this is what you wanted. A shout out to your channel, Kevin Boston 7 on YouTube. You got over 133 subscribers. That is awesome. That's definitely 133 subscribers more than what you had when you started, so just keep that in mind, Kev. And I also uh, was asked by Kevin to uh, plug one of his videos at the end of this video in the end card end screen section, so that's what we're going to do. It's Carmen Weinstead, true story, and if you're like terrified of uh, stuff in the ring or rings, you may not want to watch that video in fear of some woman in a well coming out of a you know TV and grabbing you. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go, Kevin. I hope that was a sufficient prize, even though you did win uh, the PlayStation Store gift card. Sorry it didn't work, but like I said, I did warn you. Okay, so anyways, if you've got a rant suggestion for a future episode, feel free and send it my way via the comment section, Twitter, Facebook, or email, goburns at gmail.com. Now it's time for the rant. Nearly two minutes later, I apologize for that, but, you know, a deal is a deal when it comes to... Uh, my giveaways and I had to find a good way to uh, reward Kevin otherwise since his gift card did not work but anyways today we are talking about the aircraft carrier in Grand Theft Auto Online the USS Lexington which was introduced with Grand Theft Auto Heist back in March 2015 and it was only used in one setup mission and that was for the Humane Labs raid and since then, it has been added to, I think, at least one, maybe two adversary modes. I know it's in Power Play 1 because me and one of my friends were goofing around uh, recording video for this rant the other night. And I have a couple questions, Rockstar. You went through all this trouble to build this awesome-looking aircraft carrier based off of, obviously, the Nimitz-class U.S. aircraft carriers. And I don't think you really you know, spared much effort in building it. It doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look like something you just slap together because there is levels and interiors you could venture off into. So my question is, why do you only use the aircraft carrier in Heist? Now, my friend mentioned something, I think, from an article, maybe one of Rockstar's rare asked and answered articles that they do every now and then. And supposedly, from what he can recall, Someone asked a similar question, and Rockstar's response was because of lag issues. The reason why, according to Rockstar, that they currently don't have an aircraft carrier in free mode for Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, bear in mind, 2015, you know, they were still doing last gen, current gen, and they had PC coming out a month later in April. So I didn't think that the aircraft carrier would ever end up on uh, free mode in last gen because the PlayStation 3 and Xbox One simply couldn't handle the aircraft carrier in free mode. I get that. But to tell me that on current gen and PC that we cannot have the aircraft carrier just sitting there as another military base out in the ocean south of Los Santos, you know, with uh, lasers and hydras for us to go raid and steal from the military and just have a little fun on because it might cause lag. Yeah, I'm buying that, Rockstar. And that's why you couldn't put Benny's in free mode. That's why you couldn't put the executive offices and the new executive garages and the MC clubs and the uh, warehouses, you know, both warehouses, the uh, crates warehouses, as well as the vehicle warehouses with the uh, underground back cave where you can store special vehicles because lag issues, right, Rockstar? Because you added all that stuff since heists and yet no stinking aircraft carrier in free mode? I mean, come on, Rockstar. I mean, another thing I forgot was the fact that we now can have yachts in free mode. And not just one yacht, but you could have a whole fleet of yachts if everyone in the lobby happens to own a yacht surrounding the island of southern San Andreas. And yet, no lag issues. And yet, we cannot have one stinking aircraft carrier 
in free mode. So I really do not buy the uh, excuse or justifications for us currently not having the USS Lexington available as just another place to go for fun in Grand Theft Auto Online. Even if it's very similar to Fort Zancudo and the moment you fly over it, you get a warning and you get stars and you have to go in, you have to fight the military in order to steal lasers and hydras or, you know, do the, you know, bribe the cops, uh, Lester ability. That's fine too. It would just be cool if we just had a new spot to venture off to in Grand Theft Auto Online free mode. Now, the other reason why I brought up the aircraft carrier was because there's growing hype regarding the so-called gun running update. I don't know what it's going to be called officially, but that's the name we're calling it, even though there's a, a biker contract mission of the same name. So it may be called gun running. It may be called something else entirely. And there's so many rumors about this update. Is it going to be military themed? Is it going to be redneck themed? Is it going to be Mad Max themed? Is there going to be this and that in there? And one of the rumors out there is that we're going to be able to purchase our own aircraft carriers in Grand Theft Auto Online, courtesy of this forthcoming update, whether it comes at the end of May or early June remains to be seen. And this I find to be laughable. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. I know other content creators have kind of laughed at this rumor, this theory, and, and called it BS. And that's what I'm doing right now. Because for one thing, we already have all these uh, yachts surrounding the island, potentially, if you went into a lobby, like I mentioned, and there was you know, almost every player in the game that had a yacht. I don't know if they allow all the yachts to spawn for like 30 players, but they do allow for a ton of yachts, you know, a max level. So you already have that issue to contend with. And, I mean, what would it be where you had the ability to sell the yacht in favor of an aircraft carrier? Is that how it would work, Rockstar? Or would you be able to have both the yacht and the aircraft carrier? And how much would a hypothetical aircraft carrier cost in Grand Theft Auto Online? Because the yacht is smaller than the aircraft carrier, and that ranged from, what, anywhere between, what, 6 to 8 to, uh, I think, $10 million, depending on which version you went with and the customization features. So yeah, uh, I can imagine the aircraft carrier would be a lot more expensive than the most expensive yachts. So I don't see that happening. But at the same time, I really would, at the very least, like to see the aircraft carrier USS Luxington used for more than simply one high setup and one adversary mode. And I don't know why we do not have the aircraft carrier in free mode. But at the same time, I think it would be really awesome if we did.